guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to talk about my goals for 2018. This is going to include reading goals, channel goals, life goals, just a general goal list. Before I get into that though, I am announcing a giveaway here on this channel. I've already announced on Instagram and Twitter, so you may have already seen it there. My six month anniversary on YouTube is coming up on the 1st of February, so I wanted to do a fun giveaway for all of you who have supported me so far and uh, do a Q&A as well. So the requirements for entering the giveaway is to follow the link down in the description and then just ask me a question for my Q&A and that's all you have to do. There are other options for more entries, but those are not required. All that's required is one question. And my plan is to post that Q&A video on February 1st, hopefully it goes up around then. I do work a full-time job and have another YouTube channel, so sometimes my upload days get a little off, but that's the plan. So let me tell you everything that you'll be getting in the giveaway if you win. This is going to have one winner. Uh, there are two different prize possibilities, so if you are a US winner, um, you will get what I'm about to show you. However, if you're an international winner, it's, um, it's really hard to ship things internationally depending on where it is, especially with shipping costs and everything. So instead of the items that I'm about to show, I'm going to give you the equivalent of those items monetary wise in an Amazon gift card. So I'll be able to email you that Amazon gift card and that's what you'll get if you're an international winner. I wanted to give away some things that represent uh, stuff that I love and also stuff that relates to this channel and its content. So this is full of bookish and beauty related content. The first thing in the giveaway list is A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab. If you've been around the channel for a minute, you know that I love this author and I love this series. So I really want to share the love with you guys and have you enjoy it. Next up is a comic book that I love and also that I have talked about a lot on this channel and that is Saga Volume 1. This is the only one I've read so far. I have my own copy. I bought a new copy to give away and um, I really am looking forward to reading the rest of the series so I hope one of you, whoever wins, will enjoy this. For my last bookish prize, I got a couple of bookmarks off of Amazon. This is one that says I read past my bedtime. It's got a cute little tassel on it and it has a little fox reading a book and it also has a ruler on the back so that's kind of cool. And the other bookmark is one that says book and the definition of the book is a written work of fiction or nonfiction transcribed in a set of bound paper pages, never needs charging, pages are preloaded, never malfunctions, no instructions necessary, can be autographed, collectible, doubles as a flower press, can function as a doorstop, smells good, likes a bookmark, and it also has a fun little tassel. As for the beauty items, I've included some of my favorite makeup and skincare items. One of them is the e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush. This is my favorite foundation blending brush, and it's only $6, so it's really affordable. If you ever want affordable makeup brushes, e.l.f. has some great ones. And then I've also got a blush here from Physicians Formula. I got one of these blushes in like a gift bag at a fashion style con thing that I went to back in like September and I love this blush. I use it all the time. I got a slightly different color for you guys, but I just love the formula. This is the butter blush in the color Natural Glow. So it's this nice like peachy, but like really neutral shade. I think it'll look really beautiful on most skin tones, if not all, I'm not 100% sure, but it looks like a good one. And the last item I have is a skincare item or multiple skincare items. I got these as a gift for Christmas, so I went and bought a whole nother set for you guys because I thought they were so cool and they're really affordable too. Um, this is a bunch of Korean face masks. There are 16 total here. There's a whole bunch of ones. There's like ones with the whole snail stuff in it, which is supposed to be really good for you. Um, there's some cucumber ones, some aloe ones, charcoal. It's a whole bunch and I've used probably about half the ones I got for Christmas, maybe a little less than half, and I loved every single one of them. They're really awesome. So I hope whoever gets this enjoys them as well. Now let's talk about my goals for 2018. The first thing I'm going to start with is my reading goals. I know that a lot of you who follow me are interested in reading and it's also some huge goals of mine for this year. My total reading goal for the year is 50 books. That may not sound like a lot for you guys. As I mentioned before, I have a full-time job. I have another YouTube channel. I have a husband. I have a cat. I have friends. And that doesn't excuse or say you can't read more than that, but just for me, that's a really realistic goal. Also, what I've been doing ever since I started Goodreads three years ago is that whatever I read in the last year, I upped the next year's goal by one. So in 2017, I read 49 books. You can check out my end of year reading stats for that. I'll link it up here for you. 
So because I read 49 last year, I plan on reading 50 this year. Um, I thought about upping it to 60, which makes it an even five books a month, but I really want to keep up my realistic goal of just upping it by one every year or more than that. So if I end up reading 55 books this year, next year's will be 56, so on and so forth. I also have a very specific approach to my TBRs for each month this year. This may change as the year goes on, but this is my current plan. Uh, I talked about this a little bit in my January TBR, but I wanted to talk about it a little bit more here. So my first priority for reading in a month is that anything that's coming out as a movie or TV show adaptation in the next month, so we're in January, if it's coming out in February, I want to read the book version of it in January. And that's, of course, only ones that I'm interested in. I'm not going to read every adaptation book that's out there for everything that's coming out because there are so many this year. My next goal has been something that I started when I started my YouTube channel, and this is a huge clean out project of my TBR list on Goodreads. I was inspired by Books and Lala here on YouTube with her closet clean out. I just do mine a little bit differently. So um, if you're not familiar with this or you haven't seen any of my other videos about it, my TBR list on Goodreads got a little out of control, so I scaled it back down. I can only keep 350 books on my TBR at a time. Um, that also includes like series. I only keep whatever next book in the series I'm reading on my TBR. So if I'm reading a series, I don't put like all seven books from it on there. If I'm on book two, I put book three as my want to read next. So every month at the beginning of the month, whatever amount of books I have over 350, I select a few to take off to get down to 350, and then I start my month of reading from there. But the TBR clean out, since I started Goodreads, I believe it was August of 20, was it 13? I think it's 2013. No, 2014. August of 2014. So what I started this past August when I started this YouTube channel is anything that was on my TBR that was added to my TBR on Goodreads during August of 2013, I had to read by the end of August 2017. And um, I've just been doing that month to month going forward. Um, something I also uh, took from Books and Lala's video is this concept of saves during your clean out. Um, for me, I did a little bit differently. I think she allowed one book per save, but I'm doing two books per month as a save. So one standalone novel and one series. So that way I can save a couple. That's just how I decided to do it. And then anything besides what I already read that month or what uh, I'm saving gets taken off my TBR. That doesn't mean they're not allowed to come back on at some point later if somebody else recommends them or whatever else they find their way back on that's fine. But a lot of times I end up taking them off and then never adding them back on. So it helps me keep my TBR down because if I haven't read it in three years, I'm probably not going to get to it anytime soon. And if I wasn't motivated enough to read it in that month period, I'm probably just not going to get to it. So that's my logic behind that. After adaptations and my TBR clean out books, my next goal is to read at least one owned book a month. As I mentioned in my January TBR, I do not own books like a lot of booktubers do or book bloggers, and not everybody buys them like a lot of the big people do, but um, I heavily rely on my library, and so I live in a decently small apartment, so I don't have a ton of shelf space or anything like that also cash. So uh, libraries are where it's at, but I do have quite a few own books that are unread on my shelves. So I want to kind of start going through those a little bit more so they're not just stacking up forever and ever. So at least one own book a month is the goal if I have room for it after my first two goals. Then after that, I also want to read one comic a month, preferably more, but at least one. I've been trying to get into comic books more lately, so I have quite a few, especially like first volumes that I want to get through. And then after all of those goals, if I still have room in my reading for the month, I want to continue whatever series I am currently reading with my TBR Cleanout project. I have started a lot more series than I typically like to have open at once. Before doing this project, I like to keep no more than like two at a time, so I wasn't allowed to start a new series until I closed out one of those two. That was my logic beforehand, now I just have a whole lot, so I want to kind of cut down on those and get through those more. As this is a book and beauty channel, I do have a few like makeup related goals. They're not as specific as my book goals. Something I want to do more this year is just experiment with makeup a little bit more, especially color. I got this really cool Christmas gift from my husband that's a BH Cosmetics makeup palette and it's got a ton of, or eyeshadow palette, it's got a ton of different fun colored eyeshadows and there's actually like two levels to it, so. I want to play with color a lot more. I also really want to get the hang of false lashes. I have some on today, but I always 
feel like they're not quite right or I can't get them on quite right or they're not as comfortable as I want them to be or like one side's a little farther to the outer corner than the other. There's always issues and I just want to master them a little bit more this year. Obviously that's not like a life changing goal it's just a small goal like i think last year i really wanted to nail winged liner i've done that decent enough for my own personal skill level that i wanted i've gotten the hang of that pretty well false lashes are next and also to just have fun with makeup that is the point of it that is why i got into it more i was never much of a makeup person until about four years ago and now i just want to play and have fun i of course have some youtube goals my I don't want to say primary channel because I think both of my YouTube channels are primary, but my one that I started first, if you're unfamiliar, is one I started with my husband back in, I think, May of 2017. We started a like movie, TV show, game, book kind of review channel. It's called The BS Review. If you haven't checked it out, I will link it. If you're not interested, don't worry about it. But over on that channel, our goal this year is to put up three videos a week. That was our goal when we first started our channel. However, um, that wasn't always possible. We really want to try super hard to stick with that this year because we really want to grow our channel and reach more people and talk to more people. That's why we started that channel is just to discuss things that we are passionate about with others. And we think that posting consistently is a really good way to do that and to um, just connect with more of you guys. That being said, I do have goals for this channel as well. My goal for this channel this year is to post at least two videos a week. So far this year, that hasn't been possible. It's been a little crazy. Um, I'm working on it. Hopefully this week will be two. And going forward, we'll also be two a week. So if you have video requests, let me know because I'm planning them out. I also want to launch a vlog channel this year that won't be like a consistent daily or even weekly vlog channel, just like here and there kind of vlogs. My husband and I went to Seattle in October and we filmed the entire week. We got some really cool footage of it and we're working on editing that down together, but it's going to be really long, so it's taking us a while. Um, but we want to launch our vlog channel with that footage and that trip. So that's another YouTube related goal this year. A lot of them. We'll see where it goes. So my general life goals, um, of course, I feel like every year, you know, you just want to get healthier, whether that's working out, eating right, uh, better mental health is a big one. I do have anxiety, it is formally diagnosed, um, I'm working on it, it is a work in progress, so mental health is always a big one. Physical health is also a big one this year. I really want to start working out more. I want to do meal planning more on the weekends. That's a big goal of mine this year. I do have a nine to five job, so I want to take like healthy lunches with me instead of just grabbing whatever I can find and also healthy breakfasts in the morning because I tend to just grab for like waffles or other not so healthy things. So meal prepping on the weekends to be healthier during the week is a big one. If you have any favorite like meal prepping websites or recipes or just anything like that please let me know I'm always looking for good ones some other like really random goals for this year I love drinking chai lattes it's like my favorite it's what I get every time I go to like a coffee shop when we were in Seattle I tested at like every single coffee shop we went to I got a chai latte to test out which ones were good some were good some were not but I really want to learn how to make a chai latte from scratch on the stove for some reason I just really want to do that so We'll see how that goes. And my other random life goal thing is to get a big, colorful, artistic tattoo. I have two tattoos right now. They're both black ink and they're fairly small. I want to get a very large thigh tattoo. I will link some inspiration pictures that I'm looking into at the moment up here on the screen somewhere. Or not link, I'll, I'll insert pictures. But um, yeah, that's something I really want to do. I want to save up. I want to find a really good artist in my area. My goal is to have a tattoo for like every major city that I've lived in um, post moving out of my parents' house. So far, I um, have one for the college town I went to college in, and I have one from a city that is in my area that I haven't lived in, but it was a matching tattoo with my sister. I got to pick the side of the tattoo I wanted, so I let her pick the place, you know. So I don't have one for the current city I'm living in, which is Dallas for anyone unfamiliar, so I really want to get one from here. And so that's a big goal this year. I really want to save up for one and get one, um, work really closely with a tattoo artist, get something custom designed, of course. Um, the pictures I put up are not exactly what it's going to be like. Obviously, don't steal tattoos, guys. I don't plan on doing it. Those are just inspiration. I want to use those to custom make something. That pretty much wraps up all of my current goals of the year. I'm sure things will change as the year goes on as it tends to do. 
Um, but yeah, that, that's the plan so far. So um, I hope that you guys have a great 2018. I hope that you meet all of your goals or change them to be more reachable as the year goes on. Life happens, things change. Don't beat yourself up about it. Let me know what your goals for 2018 are. I would love to know. I would love to share and keep each other accountable through the year or just motivate each other. I'm pretty active on Twitter, so if you want to follow me there, we can chat, we can help each other out. It'll be great. And again, if you want to enter the giveaway that I have going on for my six month celebration of YouTube, I will have the link down below. You can win all those things I mentioned earlier. I really hope to see you guys enter. I'm interested to see all of your questions. If you like this video and want to see more like goal or general life videos, let me know or leave a like down below. That'll let me know as well if you don't want to leave a comment. And if you want to see more content from me or see my updates of these goals throughout the years, hit subscribe. I would love to have you join my little bookish beauty family. And uh, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.